Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be setting up our Healthy Hero spreads for the next week in October. And I have my sticker sheets ready to go, a couple of pens, um, this wellness box, and the sticker books that I pulled from. Okay, so um, if you follow me on my channel, you'll know that earlier this week I did a plan with me in my horizontal planner and I basically did like a warm toned theme and I decided to do it again here in my healthy hero I just really kind of enjoyed the way that that turned out and I thought it would be pretty fun to do it here in the health hero so they're gonna kind of match and I'll be looking at them um, throughout the week so I decided to go ahead and pull stickers from the fall sticker book and it, pretty much any other book that I could find that would work for my healthy hero including like here when I'm placing my stat stickers down those um, I had in those warm yellow red orange tones so that is what I pulled from in the healthy hero and then I got these uh, arrow stickers from I want to say the travel sticker book and um, like I said, you guys, I went all around my sticker books looking for the right color scheme to do what I like to do in my Healthy Hero each week, setting up my exercise there at the top and, you know, my stats at the bottom and my focus box and food, all that good stuff. So um, I've got that set up here and then now I am putting in my Saturday rest day sticker. It says trick or treat and I realize that it's not Halloween. I don't normally do a Halloween spread. I'm not really big into Halloween as a holiday. So I probably wouldn't even be using the sticker if I did. So I decided to kind of use it as a background and do a layover, which you're gonna see me do here with this other sticker that says, let's get cozy, which is exactly how my Saturdays usually are. Just nice and chill and you know, PJs all day kind of thing. So um, I decided to do that as an overlay and that way we could bring in some color to that sticker. And I cut that Let's Get Cozy from uh, a sticker from the fall sticker book. It was um, a little bit bigger sticker with uh, like a weird, not a weird, but like a striped rainbow on the side that didn't go with the theme. But um, I liked the Let's Get Cozy. I thought that was perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And right now I'm cutting up the quote for my focus boxes. And I thought I was gonna start with that, but I'll put that to the side um, so that I can put in my little workout stickers. Where did I get these? Oh, I think these were in the fitness sticker book or the fitness mini maybe. Um, yeah, I haven't looked at that book in a little while. And I, like I said, I went through everything and I was like, oh yeah, hey, that'll work. So grab those and this little strip of which kind of looks like a washi strip is a sticker actually and I grabbed that from the fall sticker book so it has some foiling in it and some nice colors that kind of coordinate so I thought that would be um, a good tie-in for the whole spread and now I'm going to start laying out that focus section so like I mentioned I cut up this quote and I'm going to go ahead and lay it in I'm gonna use my little Jelly Roll white out pen there. It's not really white out, uh, but I mentioned it before on my channel. It's got an opaque ink, which can act as a white out on top of paper. So um, I use it to get rid of fine lines and things that I don't want to show behind clear stickers. So I went ahead and kind of covered that line up, but it needs to dry. So I'm going ahead and putting in the asterisks for my workouts. Um, I do about two a day, um, so I am just setting it up so that maybe if I see the two there, I won't skip one and I'll, I'll get it done. So, and now I'm gonna go back and lay in that quote. Finish up those asterisks. And now on the other side of the focus, Kind of doing a continuation again whiting out those lines because I'm pretty sure I'm going to overlap them with the remaining parts of the quote and 
And while that dries, just doing a little trim out of that washi strip. And heading over to the sidebar, starting in that to give that time to dry. So these habit trackers are from the wellness box that I showed you in the beginning. Um, luckily they had colors that worked with the spread. I was surprised. I was expecting to have to figure something out. So, um, but it did, it had those two tones. So I'm working with those. And then this box sticker I grabbed out of the fall sticker book and just trying to figure out how to kind of do what I have envisioned in that section. I thought there was going to take up more space than it actually did, so I would have pulled another sticker, but I didn't think about it. I thought it was going to be tight as it was, so yeah, that kind of didn't go how I was envisioning, but that's okay. All right, laying in the next part of the quote, kind of finishing that off, take the time to make your soul happy. I thought that quote was pretty good for a health spread. And then just doing a little touch up there to make sure that happy was not overlapping in any way. And I got that quote from the happy quote sticker book. So I went to the healthy hero and pulled some fitness oriented stickers in our color scheme just to kind of pull it back into that fitness idea and just laying those in kind of figuring out what i want and how i want it Need to move that just a tiny bit over so it looks right. Okay, pretty happy with that. So now I am just trying to use up those little last bits there of the strip of, I don't know, the sticker washi. I guess we'll just call it the, the we'll call it the washi sticker. How about that? Even though, I don't know if that's correct, but Anyway, you know what I mean. They had one other strip, so I wanted to use it all up, and I thought that was a nice way to kind of tie it all together. Okay, so now it's time to use those pens, and so I didn't really have a good fine liner in yellow, but I did have orange and red, so I decided to use the orange with the yellow days, and then the red with the almost deep orange red days. So laying those in right now and just kind of filling it out, putting breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner in the food log, uh, just as a little place for those things to live. And then I'm also putting in my calorie, like total calorie home, as well as my macros. Since this month, I am working on basically trying to eat vegetarian keto. I've done keto in the past, in the beginning of the year, and it was very successful. I'm trying to lose five pounds this month because I've just slowly gained weight over the summer. So I was trying to kind of reset and, you know, give up that sugar habit I have. So that's the goal. Um, I started this week, which is, um, you know, the first week of October. I'm just doing pretty good. I have had a few meat meals, but in the whole, I've been pretty good as far as eating vegetarian. So I just want to kind of keep going with that. I'm trying to just get better and better each week till I'm not breaking my diet and just staying vegetarian. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm, I'm pretty confident that I can get through this month and get on track with the veggie. So I'm going to add that as my goal for the week just to stick to veggie keto. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and color in these numbers at the top just to add a little extra color to the spread. Um, it's very warm. Might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I was really enjoying the spread that I did for my weekly horizontal. So for me, it's bringing me joy. It's making me feel kind of fall and, and pumpkin-y and just all those good things. So um, that is what I am trying to accomplish here. So I'm coloring over the October just because it was kind of pink in tone and just to kind of make it fit more with the color scheme. And once I get done with that, I should be all done, friends. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.